welcome Sue Rabadi, the founder of MedShadow. And I'm here today with our content manager, Jonathan Block. And today we're going to talk about what I consider to be a very important topic, and that is how medicines affect seniors differently than uh, adults or children. The aging process means that drugs are metabolized differently in seniors' bodies. And we have some guidelines that will help you keep your seniors safe. The criteria that's used for defining if a medicine is safe or not safe for a senior is called? The BIOSH criteria, which has been developed by the American Geriatric Society. This all started when a friend of mine complained that her mother, who was 90 years old and had been healthy, living on her own, uh, was suddenly uncertain, a little confused, was unsteady on her feet, and uh, very unhappy, depressed very unlike herself. So I went online like everybody does and I looked around and I found the Beers criteria which has been established for many years and is considered quite the standard in medical communities and it listed specifically the drug that she had just started taking, um, uh, Ativan, uh, which is an anti-anxiety drug. Uh, and it gave all, the, all of the side effects that she was, that she was feeling and they're not typical side effects unless you're a senior. So you need to seniors for uh, anti-anxiety drugs like Ativan would be depression, confusion, uh, loss of balance. So these, this is why it's so important to understand these things. What are some other drugs that we found out from Beer's criteria are perfectly safe for you and me or reasonably safe for you and me? but maybe not for the next generation. Sure, a lot of them are very common drugs. The first one that comes to mind are NSAIDs, uh, which stands for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. These are drugs that you would take for pain or fever. Examples include ibuprofen and naproxen, which you may have heard of under the brand names. Uh, for ibuprofen, uh, Motrin or Advil, and for naproxen um, would be Aleve. So those are, um, that's a major class of drugs that many seniors take. Um, an alternative, if you're a senior taking an NSAID would be Tylenol. Another one is antihistamines. Um, a common antihistamine would be Benadryl. And part of the reason why that is on the list is that um, drugs that are antihistamines like Benadryl uh, can lead to confusion, blurred vision, constipation, and some other ailments. Another one is sleeping aids. These include things such as Tylenol PM, Unisom. Uh, these are both over-the-counter um, medications that contain an ingredient that is supposed to induce sleep. Uh, but a lot of times uh, seniors will take this and they'll end up sleeping a lot more than, um, than expected. Another one is, which Sue brought up before, um, are drugs such as Ativan, which come under the heading of benzodiazepines. Other common names for benzodiazepines are Xanax and Valium. And the reason why those should be avoided in seniors is that they increase the risk for falls and mental decline. And then the final, one of the other major categories, the last one that we'll talk about, are opioids, uh, as they... Um, have been linked with um, increased incidence of falls or fractures. Yeah, we're not big fans of opioids for any age category if they can be avoided because they have so many side effects. But a very typical side effect in addition to falling for seniors um, uh, is constipation, which becomes a very, very significant problem for seniors much more quickly than for uh, middle-aged or younger people. So. Watch carefully when you're, when you're a senior or if you are a senior when you go to the doctor, ask your doctor if this has been approved through the beers criteria. Beers, sounds like it's a good time. It's spelled like a can of beer, B-E-E-R-S. And if you Google it, you can find up or find it on the website. You can also find several, lots of information on beers criteria and links to it on our website, medchatter.org. So, Please come back and watch our other MedShadow TVs and watch the medicines that you take.